Was Dad supportive in convincing you to continue to try this? No. He said, you're an idiot. What are you doing? Are <laughs> really? you crazy? You better get that fishing rod, get back out of the lake. What are you doing? Really? When I bought the bush car from him, I have to tell this. We went to Martinsville, and uh, Richard and Leo Jackson had the track rented. And Harry Gant was there, and uh, and your dad was there, and it was that car that he had bought from uh, Kenny Wallace, and he had it painted up, and it was all three, and and so uh, they they ran for a good little bit, and and then uh, your dad kind of showed me the line, and so I went out there and I ran. In whose car? In dad's in the, car. The three. Oh wow! And you would never know it. Right. I mean, I'm in the three car. You know? Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Harry Gant was impressed. I was running some pretty good laps, and Harry Gant told Leo Jackson, he said, come out here and look at this fisherman run this car. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I made a lap. Oh, Leo said, that ain't that fisherman. That's Earnhardt. And so the next lap I spun out, and Leo said, yep, that's that fisherman. <laughs> 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 then we had some outdoor riders that were there, and they wanted to interview me. And uh, they said, now, are you going to run? Well, I'd already ran 15, 20 laps and spun out three times. I said, I don't know if I am or not. They said, yeah, we've never seen Earnhardt have so much trouble. That's hilarious. <laughs> he don't know this. He <laughs> never <laughs> knew I threw him under the bus. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's kind of making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. So you bought uh, you bought some cars from Darrell Waltrip. You bought ASA cars from him, all an all pro team, engines from dad. Um <clears throat> He had uh Earnhardt, I mean uh Darrell had Western Auto over a sponsor him for whatever reason they wanted to cut back. He had a Bush team, yep. ASA and All Pro. I bought everything but his cup team. So yep. I bought his Bush team, his ASA and his All Pro. Yeah. And so you were gonna run some, Junior was gonna run some of this stuff. Neil Bonnet. Neil Bonnet was Neil gonna Bonnet drive was gonna some of your driver. car. Really? Yep. He was our guy. You were gonna own a car and, and field Bonnet, it for Neil. Neil was gonna drive it, yeah. And so what happens? We got everything ready and go down to Daytona and he's driving James Finch's car and uh, You had a, you had you had all your stuff there we that weekend to go, to go and we run the Xfinity go. race. Damn, I did not know that. Yeah. Neil. And so Neil lost his life. And so the very next year, uh, we set the rest of that year out. We didn't do anything. Didn't do nothing. And next year, I put David Bonnet because that was Neil's dream. Yeah. And so that was my obligation to Neil. If he would run our car, help us get some sponsors, uh, that he could share he and David. Yes. And then I was going to groom Hank Jr. I wanted to run a few races, and but I was going to groom Hank Jr. And, and you had Neil as a mentor, how awesome that was going to be. Yeah. And we had a great plan, and um, it all went away. I had no idea. It all went away. And, and the assumption but, here is just that Neil Bonnet, it, you become friends with Neil Bonnet through Dale. Dale oh, yeah. And, and that y'all have been on hunting trips probably oh, yeah. together at that point. Yeah. So you and Neil, when, when do you think you met Neil? Because this is this is something also I did not know. This had a – you said it out because that's a that's a that's a that's family that you just lost, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That that was devastating. That was, you know, you think of of Neil Bonnet, bigger than life. What a fun loving guy, mm. you know. And he had been through. He had had a wreck uh, uh, three years before and had some reservations about getting back in a car. Uh, Big E helped him yeah. regain confidence, and uh, the, it was just devastating. It, it was the saddest, devastating moment um, other than Big E's wreck at right. Daytona yeah. that I've ever experienced. It was just a really sickening, sad situation and of course it changed the whole direction of what we were doing and how we were doing it and what was going to happen i mean everything went away and uh, we set that year out and that particular year the budget to run bush was about a million dollars and so we go back the next year and it's like three million yeah and now the car count's gone from from 45 to 75 it's just crazy what happened and so everything in our whole life changed and it all centered around uh, losing neil i mean when i bought that team that that was a big part of of uh, what we were going to do yeah. you know you were going have a mentor were, <clears throat> yeah and you were you were making had everything went the way 
you wanted it to go, you would be an owner in NASCAR, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, You're owning a full yeah. team and 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 man, I had no idea that you had that. Met, you know, you had mapped this plan out that that was what was going to happen. Um, it's all trying to get ready for Hank Jr. Yeah, it was all trying to get ready for Hank Jr. and then Billy. You yeah. know, and and so I was just trying to be as prepared as I could be, and. Uh, you know, you look back and the way things work now, if, if you would have taken your money and gone to Rick Hendrick or somebody and said, hey, you know, I, I'll sponsor my own kid's car, and, and yeah. it would have been a much better plan, but I didn't even know that was available. Right, right, right. You know, we're just trying to build what we had. Yeah. You would eventually do that, though, and you'd build a full team for Hank Jr., and y'all would manage it and run it. Hey, if you like that video, like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another piece of Dirty Mode Media content.